Hi everyone, welcome to the Mustard Drill. I'm Scott, I'm on board the Carnival Magic and something is very different. Hi everyone, welcome back. So it's our second sea day. The voyage is about half over and I have a confession to make. It's starting to dawn on me that I have been very narrow-minded in my choice of itineraries. Like so many people, all of my cruises have been to the Caribbean, whether that be from Florida or various ports in the Northeast, and I'm not really sure if I had any expectations about this particular cruise, other than I knew that the Canadian ports would not look like Nassau. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that the overall feel and the vibe of the ship is quite different than the typical Caribbean cruise, and I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just very different than what I'm used to. And I think when I look at all of the cruises I've ever been on, there's never been enough that was really so different from one cruise to another that I can say that this cruise or that cruise was completely different than any other cruise I've ever taken. But so far, there has been a few things that I've noticed on this sailing that I've never really noticed on any other sailing, and I wanted to just mention a few. So today has been a really nice sea day. It's obviously a little cool, but the sun is shining and the ocean is pretty calm, so it's been a really nice day to be sitting around. And of course, I've always noticed people reading sometimes on sea days, and I've been on cruises where it's been so loud and so crazy and the party atmosphere is so out of control that I can't imagine anybody concentrating on reading. So I wandered the ship and I had a lot of great conversations with different people and some of the crew. The, again, the crew works so hard and they're doing such an amazing job of taking care of us and making sure that our vacation is everything that we want it to be. And I cannot encourage everyone enough. Please just take a moment or several moments throughout your cruise just walk up to a crew member and tell them how grateful and how thankful you are for all of their hard work and it is sure to bring a smile to their face and make them really feel great about what it is that they're doing for us. So after enjoying the afternoon of wandering the ship, I decided it was time to head back to my cabin. So I took the aft elevators down to deck eight and as I rounded the corner from the elevator alcove, there it was, right in my face. Nothing can prepare you for the shock and the awe of witnessing it firsthand. And the only thing I can say is, moving on. I saw a passenger sitting on a lounger, enjoying the great day today, playing a ukulele. And I can honestly say I have never seen somebody playing a ukulele on a cruise ship before. Reading a book, doing a crossword puzzle, playing a game of chess, playing a game of shuffleboard, but never playing a ukulele. I've also never seen the swimming pools as empty as they were today. The hot tubs have always got a lot of people in them, whether it's 65 degrees out or 90 degrees out. But the pools are always jam-packed, but as you can see, not today. And another first for me was I have never been on a cruise ship where there wasn't a really long line at both Guy's and Blue Iguana. When I was on Carnival Magic in June, the lines were so long all the way up to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon that they met in the middle and then continued to wrap back around on themselves. It was just always like that every single day. But as you can see here, there's nobody at Blue Iguana at like 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and just a couple of people in line at Guy's. And it is definitely a cruise first for me. And today was the first time that I had the opportunity to attend the Diamond and Platinum VIFP club party. I only recently became Platinum on Carnival and unfortunately the party had been shut down due to COVID. So I was able to attend that party for the first time today and I really had a great time. 
Another first for me was I actually witnessed a woman bet $3.75 on a slot machine and win $10. Thousand dollars, and I've witnessed many people win on slot machines in the casino. I've seen them win twelve hundred, two thousand, three thousand, but I have never seen somebody win ten thousand dollars, and definitely not on a three dollar and seventy five cent bet. So we're in Sydney, Nova Scotia tomorrow, and like so many other things, it'll be a first time for me, so I'm really looking forward to visiting that port and seeing everything that there is to see there. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. You click it once and you're done, and it'll really help us out a lot. And then don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.